Hi guys, welcome to Bratislava in in uh, Slovakia. Slovakia. And uh, this is what you can see. Here we have been uh, walking around. Uh, there is still a lot of sun. Maybe 35 degrees and will be worse later. So we took the bus from Vienna, 7 euros. It was affordable. <laughs> Our new world. And uh, we are gonna check the city and we'll let you know. Hi, I am Marco. <laughs> we heard that there is a boat for 16 euros that uh, will bring us back to Vienna. But uh, the problem is that uh, the boat has only 100 uh, suites or something like that. So we need to buy the tickets now for the evening. Uh, we found uh, the, the boat, but um, uh, they said uh, that now the price is higher, it's 20 euros and uh, after that we were like okay maybe we can spend such money it's quite a lot but uh, at the end they told us that uh, the Danube river or Danubio in Italian uh, is too low nowadays so this boat uh, cannot leave Bratislava and uh, there is another company we, we went to the other company and the price was even higher, like 35 euros and um, we are like, okay, we go back by bus. So, the city is very nice, we're here, then we'll move here, we'll go to the castle, go up a bit and we search around and find something in the center. A very good investment. We even had to pay for that. Damn young. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing, amazing bathroom, really. So guys, yesterday we were outside our beautiful room for 12 hours and uh, in this 12 hours we walked uh, something like for 8 hours and usually we walk like 5 kilometers per hour so 8 per 5 is like 40 kilometers <laughs> Well, I will be in shape after the vacation like uh, every vacation I do with Marco it's always like that. <laughs> we walk, walk, walk. <laughs> Maybe see no museum. But we keep walking. Here we have the huge Danube river that arrives also in Serbia. And we keep walking over and over. Stairs and stairs. And then stairs. <laughs> and then stairs again. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the stairs, <laughs> oh, the stairs. <laughs> stairs again. <laughs> at least the panorama is beautiful, but <laughs> we don't care at this point <laughs> because there are stairs again. <laughs> is helping some guys we are walking around this castle and uh, we were kind of hoping that uh, the police will arrest us because we want to be caged for life we need some shadow something crazy it's too hot outside looks pretty nice but in reality they are working 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 around it We are finally trying to eat uh, something typical. Uh, uh, I've been living in Poland for too much time, so now I started to drink. Dai, Marco, let's finish it. <laughs> okay. We are so happy. Typical food, like 
cheese of what? Uh, I don't know. Cheese of something, dumplings. And uh, we, we are totally, totally happy, finally. Well, uh, this is the first time we are really spending money. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Ciao. Chissà se ciao significa. What if ciao means something uh, like in Chinese or Japanese? Guys, this is our hotel that in 2012 won the TripAdvisor, blah blah blah, and so on. And inside is totally, totally destroyed. Open the door! <laughs> I need the toilet! <laughs> oh Marco, did you notice that even the libraries are better in Slovakia than Italy? <laughs> That's something crazy. Oh, there is even upstairs somewhere. Oh, that's beautiful. No, three or four seats. <laughs> three or four seats. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Wow, Marco. I think uh, that uh, if I will ever get married, uh, I will marry a girl in this library. Bugowski <laughs> uh, on writing, I should. Really, I should read this book. Chat Bugalski. On the writing. Dog pizza. Oh, come on. All the English books. So guys, if you still don't believe, there are 38 degrees. <laughs> we got back uh, from Bratislava, we are in Vienna. We had the, the longest shower ever. And uh, in the shower, I was cleaning all my clothes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> only the uh, also the floor. Yeah, I messed up with the floor. Probably the people living in this house uh, they will find like uh, it's a swimming pool. <laughs> but like Venice. <laughs> yeah, like Venice, uh, saying Marco. But it's fine. It would be nice for them to swim a bit. <laughs> so um, we went to, to the. Dinner? What about the Oh, uh, yeah. So we went to this restaurant. Uh, like, uh, we said, okay, we'll spend some money tonight. We will eat some typical Austrian food. And uh, it was crazy, guys, because at the end, uh, the bill was 49 euros for two person. And uh, I left uh, an Italian tip. So, like, one euro. And the guy said to us, you know what? If you want to leave a tip, it should be around 5 or 10 percent. It works like that in Austria, and uh, I was like, oh my gosh, Marco, should I give five euros? And Marco was, yeah, yeah, give five euros. And I was like, but it's all I have. Uh, so I gave five euros, and uh, tomorrow I will need, like, uh, I don't know, what I will need. Uh, uh, I will need uh, to ask money on the street or something like yes, that. but not in Budapest because uh, <laughs> not in Budapest. change money is not... Uh, 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 yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow we are going to Budapest, so... <laughs> Alla izquierda. Alla izquierda. Uh, what else? I was reading a, boot, a book about Marco Polo wow. on the bus and... Uh, the title of this book is... Uh, the Pearl and the... Wow, I don't remember the title. No. So I will speak about this book in uh, another video. And uh, for now it's everything. Bukowski. So Marco had a, a, a really great idea to buy, to buy the same book in every country. So he bought Factotum by luck because he wanted something from Stendhal. And uh, so he will buy Factotum in every language, in every country he will visit. And I think that's a great idea, but not affordable for me right now. <laughs> so, for him, it's a great idea. And uh, for tonight, uh, it's everything, and uh, see you in Budapest. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.